All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a nut and bolt screwdriver wrench uh, holder while you're working on your car. And, you know, you usually get nuts and bolts flying all over the place. But just take your old speaker, yank off the magnet. Basically, once you pull that off from the back, you want the whole thing, um, you come up with this. Once you get this off, what you want to do is take this ring here off, and it's got another ring on the back. They're glued, so they're, they're, it's not easy. You got you got to be careful so you don't you don't break this inner magnet because what you what you're after is this magnet. Um, once you break this apart and get that loose, then what you come up with is this. This is the inner magnet part. You can see where it's glued. It's on there pretty hard. It's some, some of them are easy, some of them are tough. This one here was pretty tough. Uh, what you want to do is take basically a coffee can like this. The lid is what you're after. You know, something that's going to fit your magnet. It's going to be about the same distance, which I've got one here. That it's older. This is a new one. I'm going to use that to make a uh, band light out of. But what you want to do is put the plastic over top of the magnet like that. And then just, let's see, I'll just tape it up. Take your black tape here. What you want to do is just tape the lid to the magnet. Start it up here like this. And what you're doing is just taping it to the magnet just to hold it. And you want to use a lid or something because that's the part that's going to be like sticking on your fender while you're working on the car. And if you forget to lay down a rag or something, it's going to keep this magnet from scratching your car. And believe me, I've been doing this for a long time. And I've scratched a lot of my cars by not having the, the coffee can lid. So I come up with that. Then, what you want to do is take this, and you've got your breather. You know, I use chrome because it looks neater. I usually have a couple of them laying around, you know, they get pitted up. Once they start pitting up, you don't want them on your old classic car. But you take that, you know, you see it's pretty rough. And you basically stick the magnet with the magnet side down on the top part of the breather, like that, center it up. Now what you got is this. Well, what that's good for is, you know, uh, the tray itself, like, I'm gonna do it in my microwave. You know, it sticks on about anything. And then, I mean, if you've got, you know, say, nuts and bolts and washers, and, you know, they stick right to it. So as you're working on your car, you know, you're putting stuff down. I mean, your tray ain't going to be on a microwave sitting sideways. It's going to be flat. But, you know, as you're working on your car, you can put your nuts and bolts in it. And, you know, so put your screwdrivers and your wrenches on it. And, you know, that way when you got to move it to go to another place, you don't have to worry about it, you know. I mean, it just, nothing moves around much. Stick it on your car and work on something and throw it in there. Simple. You know, that way you can pick it up. You don't have to worry about it falling out. I mean, unless you got a bunch of them. Once you get a bunch of stuff in there, something's going to give. Magnet's only so big. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you an old technique I used to do. Always did. Still do. Matter of fact, this is one I've used for a while. I just took it apart just to show you. <laughs> Alright, have fun, chat at you later.